Okay, so I like to draw a little bit of a graph here. This helps me out. We have a directrix of x equals negative 5. That means it goes through the x-axis at negative 5. And we have a focus of positive 1, 4. Here's the focus and here's the directrix. Remember, directly in between the focus and the directrix will be the vertex. So this is a distance of 4. And, whoops, sorry. This is a distance of 5, and this is a distance of 1, so there's 6 in between there. So I can go 3 to the center, and I'll find the vertex. 1, 2, 3. So what is this exact ordered pair? This exact ordered pair is going to be negative 2, 4. So from 5, I go 3 in, and from 1, I go 3 in. And I'm going to land at negative 2, 4. So I have a translated a translated parabola. Remember your parabola has to eat the focus. And whenever we have a parabola that opens up to the right, it's a y squared problem. Inside we're going to look at what is our vertex. So negative 2 goes with the x opposite sign. 4 goes with the, with the y opposite sign. Now what is the p? p is the distance from the vertex to the directrix or the vertex to the focus, it's 3. And it's a positive 3 since it opens up to the right. Final answer, after multiplying 3 by 4. OK, so we have a translated parabola again because it's not centered at the origin. It's opening up to the left. So it's going to be a y squared problem once again. So I'll do it right here. We have a vertex of negative 2, 1. Negative 2 is the x, opposite symbol. 1 is the y, opposite symbol. OK, what is the diff distance from, what is the distance here? And by the way, I don't like this here. But what is, OK, this is your y-axis, this is your x. What is the distance from the focus to the directrix? It's a unit of 1. So p is 1, and in fact, it's a negative 1 since it opens up to the left. This is not the directrix. This is the x-axis and the y-axis. When I multiply and I change p into a negative 1, my final answer looks like this.